So please welcome this week's special guest, Sid. <laughs> Chris Tarrant, what is Sid to you? This is my dentist, Sid, and I had to drive her to A and E after biting her finger during a checkup. <laughs> right, Mel, could you explain how you know Sid? This is Sid. We once posed as members of an orchestra to gain backstage access to meet our idol. Finally, David, what is your relationship with Sid? Um, this is Sid. Uh, last year... <laughs> Sorry. I just... There's something about you. I don't think you know any women or anyone called Sid. <laughs> In which case you'll be saying that it's a lie. Correct. Uh, this is Sid. Lie. <laughs> this is Sid. Last year, she rescued me when a seaside donkey went haywire with... <laughs> with me on its back. Can I just say... I retract my earlier comment. True. <laughs> so, there we have it. Uh, Chris's disgruntled dentist, Mel's orchestral imposter, or David's seaside saviour. Lee, where do you want to start? Well, should we start? Let's start with Chris. What was she doing that made you bite down so hard? <laughs> She's actually a very accomplished dentist. Her real name is Sydney. Sydney. Matthews. She is the junior partner in a company called Matthews and Pretty in Weybridge in Surrey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are Sorry, top her real dentists. name is Sydney. Yeah. Sydney. Sydney. Girl's name Sydney. I, I couldn't understand what he was saying, but now someone's shouted it really loudly in Welsh. It's a lot clearer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sorry, Chris, say it again. I fix up to go and have a temporary crown taken out and put a, the proper one in. Oh, yeah. Coronation, um, was it? Yeah. <laughs> You're getting above yourself, Tarrant. So she starts doing this little bit of drilling, and of course you've got so much drilling in your mouth. I'm going, it really hurts. I want to protect it. And she's what? At which point I bit her finger. In fact, two fingers, really quite badly. <laughs> and she is pouring blood. And then does Sid treated you since? No, but she's due to in about three months. So I'm trying to be quite nice to her. Right. Do you want to to move on to another okay. suspect? Mm -hmm. David, what what did it do? The donkey? It ran suddenly in one direction with me on its back. No. Yes. Where were you? I, I bet he I says was Blackpool. On the... <laughs> no, I was Where on we... the beach. It was in Norfolk. And a beach in Norfolk. Do you know which beach? I know Norfolk quite well. Which, which beach in Norfolk was it? Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 it was uh, Great Yarmouth. When was this? It's about, it was last year. Do okay. they let adults ride donkeys? Good question. Ask him. Yes, they do. They do, they did. <laughs> I got on the donkey, it went haywire. What? what? You saying what? I'm a liar? <laughs> Sid rescued me! But what scared the donkey? Yeah, well, I can answer that. What, what scared... <laughs> you haven't explained why you were on the donkey. Um, when I look at you, I don't think donkey. <laughs> Thank you. I well, think Mel the, does. The you, aim you... was... <laughs> One child of uh, some friends of mine wanted to have a donkey ride and then sort of was a bit nervous of the donkey ride and and I said well I'd have a donkey ride to sort of demonstrate that it was you know <laughs> fine and safe yeah. oh and, so it was a disaster it was a disaster yeah. it was an absolute yeah. it was a disaster it was a very very sad day did you have to pay for the ride uh I think so yeah do you remember roughly what what that was? I think, it, I, I think oh. roughly about £1,000. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> might have been less. Less than a thousand. Certainly not a million, it, not a million say, pounds. It... <laughs> and it wasn't like 4p. David, how did Sid rescue you? She had a, a geographical advantage on the donkey, because mm -hmm. I don't think... I'm not, I don't think I'm being rude to Sid to say that she probably couldn't have matched this crazed beast for speed. <laughs> <laughs> she was over where the donkey was headed, sort of near there, and was able to intercept and grab the bit of string that's attached to a donkey's face. <laughs> and, uh, it's like having it's like... Zara Phillips with us, isn't it? Yeah. It really you is. have literally never seen a donkey in your life. <laughs> right, what about, what about Mel, then? Just remind us again of your story. This is Sid. Yeah. And we once posed as uh, members of an orchestra yeah. mm -hmm. to, to meet our idol. Right. Who, who's the idol, just for fun? Leslie Judd. The, um... 
<laughs> the uh, ex Blue Peter presenter. You don't need to tell me who Leslie Judd is. <laughs> <laughs> so, does Leslie Judd also play in an orchestra? Not that I know of. What, what was she of, doing what there? What was she then? doing there? She was hosting the event. Where was it? It was in Oxford Town Hall. And you were how old? 16. You say you posed we, uh, as, as orchestra yeah. members. How did you go and buy an instrument? We borrowed from a friend, uh, funnily enough, a cello case. Well, that's all you'd need, cos one of you gets in it. Yeah. <laughs> So hang on, when you were 16, I'm just thinking this through. Leslie Judd, as we all know, is a Blue Peter presenter back in the glorious uh, the heyday Fab of, Four. The Fab Blue Four. Peter. Exactly. No, when, it's Purvis when, Singleton Judd. When yeah. grown-ups used to... <laughs> yeah. When grown-ups used to host exactly. Blue Peter. Yeah. Uh, great times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did it work? We got past security. <laughs> I'm not sure about this security business, to be honest with you. I've got to mention a meeting. Town Hall. Oxford Town Hall. with they going, hey, we got on next week. <laughs> Leslie Judd is hosting <laughs> an orchestra. We're going to need some security. <laughs> did she sign anything for you? She did, yep. I had a Blue Peter annual. Yeah. I think Leslie was in circus gear on the front. I've got that one. Oh, that's it. Yes. <laughs> All right, we need an answer, so... What are you going to say? I think it's Chris. You think Chris because bit a lady? Because more importantly, yeah. looks like she could be a very... Good dentist. No, you see, I have to disagree. I disagree. If we're going by looks alone, I'd say she's more likely to have manhandled a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't just go by looks, can we? I think she looks like a really lovely friend of Mel's. We need an answer, so... Alex mm. thinks it's Chris. Chris. Are you sticking with that? Are I'm you... sticking 100%. And Lee, decision. presumably, you think me? <laughs> Despite my real gut reaction that it's David, <laughs> I would say, of the two, we will go with Mel. Ah! Or will we go with Chris? <laughs> Split the difference. Me! <laughs> Go on, I'll say Mel. You're saying oh. Mel. OK, so, Sid, would you like to reveal your true identity? Uh, my name is Sid, and Mel and I posed as members no. of an orchestra <laughs> in order to meet our idol. Yes, Sid and Mel did once pose as members of an orchestra in order to get backstage and meet Leslie Judd. Thank you very much, Sid. <laughs> <laughs>